Found in 1992, the Shora Mark forever changed the discipline of archaeology. Richard Grellen, author of the book Drawing a Thread Through the Eye of the Storm, was there as history unfolded. I was doing my postdoctorate uh, research at Stony Brook, and I was made part of the in initial investigative team that came out and looked at the site, found no evidence of other arcs, though we uh, looked rather extensively. Um, but when we opened this arc, we knew we had found something really special. The arc was discovered by two children playing near their home on the north shore of Long Island. Grellen and his research team named it the Shoreham Arc after the nearby nuclear power plant. When we opened the arc, we found what were sort of average personal belongings of a woman named Helen Book. The ID was like what we'd seen before in other arcs. The currency was not remarkable, although this was the first time we ever saw a $50 bill from the Northeast Zone. When we removed the photograph, that was the first sign that this was not the usual quotidian group of objects. There was something about it that made us realize that Helen Book was involved in something unusual, something big, something outside of our experience. The photograph was the first sign, but it would not be the last. Grellen's team found a small vial tucked inside a lipstick tube in Book's purse. Testing revealed that the vial contained a deadly neurotoxin. Pathologists estimated that if added to the water supply, the agent was concentrated enough to kill at least 40,000 people. We were stunned when the results came back. This was something like nothing we'd ever seen before. Though insurgent conflict between the zones is now well documented, in 1992, little was known about terrorist activity within the Northeast Zone itself. Researchers like Grellen had long suspected that the NEZ was not immune to the political violence that plagued other zones. Now, it seemed, they had their proof. Ultimately, Grellen and his team advanced the theory that Book was involved in a terrorist organization and that the photograph in her wallet might be a message from her handler, both a command and a threat. It may have been a photograph of her son or a nephew or another member of the group. We don't know. Uh, but it did seem as if they were trying to warn her. This hypothesis was further supported by the Old Lyme Ark found in Connecticut in 1995. That Ark contained a small cache of weapons and a leaflet similar to the one on the wall in the Shoreham photo. But as with many aspects of archaeology, every discovery only seems to underscore how much we have yet to learn. Why her? Why did they bury the Ark in this spot? Who gave her the vial? These are questions we can't answer, not yet. But I can't help but think that someday we will. <laughs>